Hey, check this out. Who are the true Israelites? Who are the true Israelites? Truly. Look, when you can see spiritually, when you've been born again of the Spirit, and take every word in in the Bible back to its origin using the lexicons, which is how God preserved the spiritual message that's contained in it. But you have to be led by His Spirit. Otherwise, you'll have too difficult time trying to figure it out on your own. So <clears throat> when we're born into this world, into this flesh, which is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, it's our body, is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You are called an idol worshiper, a Gentile. All of us, the entire world. Everybody that's born here is called an idol worshiper. You're worshiping your own self, your flesh. You're worshiping all the things of this world. But when you're born again in a spirit brought from a condition of death, because we're all the walking dead when we're born into this body. But when you're reconnected to the source of all life, the tree of life, God himself, through the gift of his Holy Spirit given by Christ, his only begotten son, who is God incarnate, the first, last, Alpha, Omega, only physical representation of God himself. We are not, like the churches teach, we are not in the image of God. Okay, we're in contrast, direct contrast. So when you're born again in the Spirit, now you become a true Israelite. So all those who are born again of the Spirit from above, given by Christ, are his children, are the children of God, the true Israelites. Understand, the churches cater to our flesh. And if you can't even understand that, then how can you understand spiritual things? And I believe Christ had something to say about that as well. All right, it's time to wake up. It's time to go home. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.